Hi, this is another smartphone um, post, and in particular, I'm looking at Ericsson versus Xiaomi. Ericsson is the world's largest supplier of telecommunication equipment, and Xiaomi is the third largest seller of smartphones behind Samsung and, and Apple. However, they have not been uh, sold in the U.S. Their largest markets are both China and India, so therefore most people have, in this area have not really heard of them. Um, Xiaomi does not have a lot of intellectual property at this point. They don't have a lot of patents filed. They have very few in the U.S., and so that's why they have not been able to sell here. They sell devices for significantly cheaper than Apple or Samsung, and their devices look almost identical. And so um, that has been part of their problem with them trying to move into the U.S. market. They uh, are currently within this particular lawsuit with Ericsson were found to infringe on some of the patents of Ericsson's wireless technology and they were reaping the benefits and sales without having to spend the R&D and capital. So the patents in question had to do with Xiaomi's 2G and 3G technology in their MI3, Redmi, and 1S, Redmi Note, and Redmi Note 4G devices that they were selling in India for prices less than $100, which is dirt cheap. And so in the final ruling, they were found to have infringed on the patents, and this particular case took place in the Delhi High Court in India, and their sentencing ruling, so to speak, was that they would not be allowed to sell phones in India for up to a year uh, because of this patent infringement. This represents a huge blow for them because it is a growing market, a very large market, um, and they are hoping to have a much more of a stake in it. However, with the growing market in China and the uh, phasing out or, uh, in terms of popularity of Apple and iPhone, uh, Xiaomi has potential to really increase its revenue and sales at the moment.